you start the WAF recommendation scanner, you will start by entering some app related details such as the domain name, protocol, start URL, etc. Some additional details such as login URLs, all the associated fields for the same, logout URLs are also fed into the tool. The next step would be to choose the vulnerabilities to look out for and the depth of the scan. You can also specify the response size limit, the request concurrency uh, as well. Now, once you start the scan, it will look for all the links that is able to crawl, identify the underlying technologies such as the OS, server, JavaScript library, etc. Based on those technologies, it will generate signatures. The tool will further scan the app against the selected vulnerabilities along with the other security checks and generate recommendations. You can review the reports of the scan and you can also check all the forms, URLs and the fields on the app that was crawled. You can at the same time review the recommendations that were generated edit or modify them as per your business needs. In this case, you can change anywhere from the cookie length to the URL length for buffer overflow check. Now, if needed, you can also reset to default, change even further as in enable learning mode or disable the block mode. Now, for the other technologies that it was able to identify, it will only enable signatures that are associated with those. As an example, you will see that one of the underlying technology used for was Apache since the web app was posted on the same. You can also check the same by using the filters, uh, say select category and select Apache as, as the keyword. And you will see that only Apache related signatures are enabled. And it is the same for any other technologies that it was able to identify. Once you have reviewed all the signatures, you can cl simply click on apply recommendation and all the recommendations that were suggested by the tool will be applied to your ADCs.